Well, Mike Lee's Peterloo is set in 1819, four years after the end of the Napoleonic Wars, which culminated in the Battle of Waterloo. And that's where the film opens, where young bugler Joe, David Morst, is obviously shell-shocked. When he returns to his family in Manchester, to mother Nellie, Maxine Peake, and father Joshua Pierce Quigley, social unrest is on the rise as unemployment climbs and basics like bread and flour become more expensive. On top of which, ordinary working class people do not have representation in Parliament. What right do these men have with this money when those they have robbed are starving for want? They have no right, no right at all! The reformists gather to give rousing speeches about one man, one vote and liberty or death, as do the politicians in London, made up of wealthy landlords and aristocrats. But their agendas differ widely. The pollies want to maintain the status quo, and why wouldn't they? Living off the fat of the land as they do and exploiting those below them in the pecking order. When one of the reformers, Sam Bamford, Neil Bell, goes to London to listen to the famed radical speaker Henry Hunt, Rory Kinnear, it's organised for Hunt to visit Manchester and speak at a huge rally in St Peter's Field on August 19, 1819. Well, after an hour and a half of declamatory speeches from both sides, I wondered when the drama would begin. But no, the declamatory speeches continued on and on. I was wondering if this, in fact, is cinema or merely a polemic. There's certainly no character development, but there are certainly caricatures aplenty. And apart from the final onslaught, no action or drama. The wall-to-wall -wall dialogue is banal, pretentious, Dickensian, but not in a good way, as unsubtle as the acting. You can see the director's hand in every frame. At two and a half hours, I was looking at my watch every couple of minutes, wondering when this excruciating cinema experience would end. There is no dramatic impetus anywhere. I loathed this film. Its phoniness irritated me. Its banality made me groan. The good thing about it is Dick Pope's cinematography, referencing artists like Vermeer with his lighting and framing. And Susie Davies' production design is pretty good at recreating the era. But I'm grasping at straws to say what I could like about Peterloo. As one of the characters says, I'm not one for too much talk and I couldn't agree more. So, Margaret, what did you really think? <laughs> I thought this was a really fine, sensitive <laughs> piece of direction. I thought it had a poetic sort of allure to it that was sort of romantic and, and totally enticing. And this is one of the worst films I've ever seen. <laughs> I have to totally... This is absolutely appalling cinema. Isn't it? That's it's dreadful. so strange. It's so long. There's no discipline. There's no sense of creating character or drama. Well, it's just it's just no attempt, and it's filmed in a, a very theatrical front-on way. I mean, this, yeah. the the photography is terrific, but it's but it's very kind of representational. It could be a like a church pageant in a way. Mm. I mean, it's all just moves across the frame yeah. like that. It is just absolutely, as you say, totally banal. You know, I was really hoping that you would love it because my review is so what, negative. What, you think I like overacting? Is that what you're saying? Because <laughs> I overact a little bit. But there bit are good myself. actors in this film. I know, but they're all for... But the way... The How can is, they deal with that dialogue? I don't, well, they deal with it by going, Hey, we're past the claret, old chap! <laughs> I mean, it is that broad, yeah. the acting. It is just it's... absolutely shocking. Mm. At every level, this is just dreadful. It's unredeemable. All right, OK. I think we... Minus three. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. <laughs> Minus Look, I'm two. I'm give it one star for the cinematography and design. Well, I'll give it... Uh, yeah, I'll give it one, too. It's, it is just... I, I don't think I've seen anything quite as bad as this for a long time, since the last film that I was in. No. <laughs> we demand that our suffering cease. Now is the time for action. Now! The corrupt... Order will come crashing down! 